Hello guys, today we're going to talk about risk management. Risk management is maybe the most important video that we're going to do in this series. So what is risk management exactly? Risk management is knowing exactly how much money you can lose at any particular time because you have pre-calculated this number. Why is risk management important? Uh, when you're trading, you are your capital. Your capital is your most important asset. If, you're, if you don't know how to protect your capital, you're never going to make any money in this business. You have to think of trading as uh, some kind of business and your account balance as the money you have invested in that business. Uh, you wouldn't like to be uh, unaware of uh, your total risk and how possible it is to, to lose your investment amount. You need to keep track of these numbers. Another important reason is that if you keep good track of your risk management and you minimize the amount of, uh, that you're going to risk per trade, it's a lot easier to uh, keep your psychology uh, in uh, where you want it to be because if each trade doesn't play a huge amount in your overall performance, then you're going to be relaxed when you're trading because it doesn't matter, the whole trades matter. Which brings us to the general principle of risk management. I will demonstrate this principle with an example. It's easier for you to understand this way. If you want to make a specific amount of money, for example, you have a 1,000 euro account that you want to make 500 euros, um, it's a lot better to spread that PNL 500 euros to many trades and make, uh, for example, 100 trades of 5 euro each than spreading these 500 euros to two trades that's going to make 250 euros each because each of these two trades is risking a lot of money to make this. 250 euros. So the more you spread your risk uh, to a lot of trades, the lower your overall risk. Another very important concept you need to understand, uh, which is going to help you understand why do you need to spread your trades and why you need to risk a small amount to each trade, is drawdown. What is drawdown? Drawdown is uh, the amount of money that you lose from your balance if you have a big uh, losing streak. So if you lose a lot of your positions, uh, for some reason, how much you, percentage of your balance you're going to lose. Why is uh, this important? Uh, there, is a, there is a rule in trading that if you lose 50% of your account, you need 100% of your account of win to get back to your original amount. I will give you that with an example. Let's say that you have a 10,000 euro account and uh, you have a drawdown of 50%. You have a losing streak and you lose half of your account. So your account is going to be 5,000. In order for your account to go back to, to, to 10,000, you need to make 100%. You need to, to make twice the amount of money. So uh, the whole point is that it's very hard to recover from drawdowns. You need to do a lot better in order to get your original amount. Let's expand this example by talking about your trading system. I can remind you that you already made a video about trading system, so you can go back and check it out, see what a trading system is. If you have a trading system that gives you some particular edge, uh, that means that you're expecting to be winning a specific percentage of your positions. Let's say that in your trading system you have calculated that you win around 75% uh, of your positions. That, means, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, everything is going to go perfect and all the time you're going to be losing three positions and winning seven, losing three, uh, winning seven. It's very, very natural to have a losing streak of 10 or, uh, positions or even 15 positions. You need to know exactly what will happen when this time occurs, occurs and you need to, be, uh, to have calculated exactly your total losses. I'm going to give you an example with numbers. Let's say that you have uh, an account that is uh, 10,000, okay? Let's say that you have chosen to risk 6% of your account on each particular trade. 6% doesn't really sound like much, but if you lose 10 positions in a row, you're going to see that your account will be almost half. And losing 10 positions in a row in a bad days, nothing, uh, nothing extraordinary is very possible. Let's assume now that you risk 1% of your account with each trade. Uh, if, you, if, you risk, uh, if you lose 10 trades in a row, you will barely have lost 10% of your account. So it's a lot easier to accept it's a bad day, uh, go back to sleep, think about your strategy, come back and make that uh, extra 10% back. So uh, how is risk management done? What are you supposed to do exactly? 
what you're supposed to do is calculate the amount that you can lose with each individual position. You calculate that by using a stop loss, a hard stop loss that you calculate how much it's going to be and you don't touch uh, after you set it like we talked in particular in, in previous videos. The first step is setting up your stop loss per position and calculating uh, the specific amount. Uh, the second step that you must do is know how many positions you're going to have open at the same time. So uh, let's say that you want to risk 1% uh, of your account maximum at any given time and you want to have four positions open maximum at any given time. That simply means that each of your positions need to risk 0.25% of your account. Last issue is how much percent of your balance should you be risking with any trade. There is no general uh, rule of the thumb that tells, you, uh, that tells you that you must risk this specific amount, even though most traders commonly accept 2%. Uh, this has a lot to do with your trading frequency, uh, which is very important. If you're trading a lot of trades per day, something like 10 trades per day or 20 trades per day, you should be risking a very, very small amount of your balance. I would say something like 0.2% or even lower. Uh, however, if you're trading once per day, then you can maybe uh, risk around 1% or 2% of your balance. If you're trading like once per month or you're a swing trader and you put a lot of thoughts into the trade, you read the news, every trade is a very much calculated decision, uh, it makes sense to risk something like 5% of your balance. Um, you should not risk more than that because like we explained before, you're not, you're not going to be able to manage your drawdowns, you're not going to be able to manage uh, your total, uh, your, your exposures, you're going to be in high risk of blowing your account. Now let's go to CTrader. I'm going to show you how to uh, place and calculate your stop loss in CTrader uh, in order to do your risk management. I have opened a 10,000 euro account here and uh, let's assume that I want to risk 1% which is one of my trades, so I want to risk 1% of, of 10,000, which is 100 euro. Uh, we have a, a kind of a drown trend here. Uh, it's not very reliable because there was non-farm payroll came out today and I'm, I'm not very fond of trading this particular news. But let's, let's assume that we have a downtrend here and we want to enter short. We want to place our stop loss at about 136.038 because it's higher than the previous swing. So we assume that the trend is going to continue downwards. It's going to maybe going to go high, but not higher than the previous swing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the amount of pips that I want to risk, which is 17 pips. I'm going to open an order screen and I'm going to place minus 17 at the stop loss that I want to risk. We said that we want to risk 100 euro with its position. We, say, we see here that it's 125. So I need to make my volume a bit smaller. It was 100k, I made it 80k, and now I see that I'm risking exactly 100 euro. I'm going to press sell. My position is filled, and I'm exactly where I want to be. I am uh, risking 100 euro, and I am short. Now you can, uh, if you want to, you can move your uh, stop loss to a more technical level, like exactly here. You can add a bit more on your position and, uh, for example, make it 90k. Of course, some people uh, may not want to use technical levels when putting a stop loss and maybe they want to use a specific uh, amount when they're to risk a specific amount with its trade. In this case, it's very easy. You're going to put out another screen once you're going to calculate how many uh, pips are you going to use with your specific volume and you're always going to use these values. You can even set it in quick trade settings so you can, um, you can keep your discipline. One thing that I forgot to explain that, uh, that I want to talk about now is why are we risking a percent of our balance instead of a specific amount? Why not say that I'm going to risk 100 euro with my 10,000 account forever? The reason is that if we risk a percentage, the percentage that we risk uh, goes up when our account goes up. So you're risking uh, 100 dollars, 100 euros at 10,000 euros, 110 euros at uh, 11,000 euros, and the, it goes on. So your risk grows with your account. And your reward also depends on your risk. So the more you risk as your account grows, the more you are going to make also. Uh, this goes both ways. 
when your account gets smaller, you risk a smaller percent with its trade because if you risk the same amount, you're going to blow your account a lot easier. So that concludes our maybe most important video, the video about risk management. We talked about uh, basically what risk management is, how you should think and what to do, uh, how to calculate your, uh, the amount of money that you risk with every trade, how your margin works, what's margin leverage and these kind of concepts. So thanks for watching. Thank you.